Hello everyone, welcome to the channel Rat here from Ratko Tarot and this is going to be daily tarot reading for July 27, 2018. <clears throat> so the first card of uh, for the day spread which represents the topic of the day is going to be the four of uh, wands. The second card representing the uh, negativity of the day or rather the negative approach we could take toward the topic that will be um, temperance. After that we do have the positivity of the day or the positive approach we should take toward the topic that will be the death card. And the last one represents uh, the uh, long term benefits for us in case uh, we do keep these couple of conditions checked. That will be uh, the ace of pentacles. Alright, so four of wands for the topic of the day does represent... Um, <clears throat> final stage of an important cycle overall so in generally it doesn't mean complete completion of a particular project or relationship but just the completion of a particular cycle just for example uh, it could be that uh, you know you have planned a certain project and now that particular phase is coming to an end the planning I mean and thus at that day maybe that will be the, the, the first step placed upon that project as the planning is already finalized. So uh, all in all that card points that this day is where an important matters will be attended to and through, throughout those important matters a, a new stage of development is going to come in your way, uh, either relationship wise or either career wise. Now very important when we talk about the four of wands is that we need to sort out everything that concerns the previous stage, you know, unresolved negotiations, unresolved issues, etc, etc. Now, Four of Wands is a very positive card in, in the most general meaning and if you don't have anything to, to work upon at that particular day, then the card advises you to spend the time with friends and with people that you take as family. It doesn't have to be your uh, bloodline family, but people that you do take as family. Now, uh, because we do have, however, the temperance at uh, the negative approach, uh, that card, uh, in, in conjunction with the Four of Wands, it does represent uh, the affinity or rather like the tendency uh, of stubbornness. And I will try to explain what I, what I mean, because the stubbornness is not exactly the word, but I can, can't find the most accurate, you know, description in, um, in English. So it's kind of like, uh, even though a, that particular new phase in whatever we're trying to do can be initiated in a certain way, uh, we want to make it other way around. All right, so it's kind of like, let's say that the uh, the circumstances through which we can initiate here, or through which we can transcend, uh, may not be exactly a uh, circumstances that we want to have on our plate, or maybe we will want to have even a better circumstances. All right, so and um, that being said, we may kind of like try to you know to even struggle more to to make seemingly the most perfect conditions for us to initiate that particular um, triversion um, so we can you know transcend our um, our agenda into the next level however uh, the more we struggle here the more uh, or rather like the more we try you know to attract or to create so-called best circumstances but the the best circumstances may be although the, the circumstances that we do have right now it is just we may think that they they are not the best all right so that card kind of points that the more we try to kind of alter and opt the circumstances around us uh, the more extreme kind of conditions and the more extreme standpoints it is what we are going to take here, right? And somewhat along the way, it seems that we are going to lose our purpose or cause regarding that particular thing uh, which is transcending here. And ultimately is going to lead us into a, a very... Um, I can't say unexpected, but more like uh, it will happen like you will have your actions, right? But those actions will not be supported with uh, with the right determination and with the right convictions. 
So instead, what needs to be done here, uh, that is marked with the death card. It is just, you know, go with what you have. It is um, work with what resources are in present at this very moment and uh, by you doing so and uh, even doing it without feeling any regret about what could have been all right uh, the death card promises you that <clears throat> the transition will be rather very milder in a sense of that you may you are likely to experience no uncomfortability whatsoever but you will be able to adapt very quickly to whatever changing environment is happening and under changing environment i mean transcending environment that it is happening it could be you know your um it could be a promotion that you are taking and uh <clears throat> you know um that is a very good example as a matter of fact because when you take a promotion you first have to resolve whatever you do have on a current place and when you go to to the place you are promoted to you have to take it from there and work with what you have instead of trying to create the best possible conditions that you think you need to have from the lower position that you are already in, uh, already at all right or still at should i say all right so very important here is just to to take off from whatever you um, from whatever you have been placed after the transition and just move on with what you have from there and uh, that concerns either career that concerns either relationship and if we're talking about relationships here that could be uh, as well connected with difference of, uh, of characters you know and you have to pick up from the the transcend here and just work with the differences and uh, you know try to kind of like um incorporate them instead instead of um instead of altering them all right but a bottom line here is guys that in case we do keep these couple of conditions checked so in other words we just work with what we do have uh, then ace of pentacles takes place which is a, a long-term benefit and that card points to success into one business um, harmony into one relationship uh, the, the ace of pentacles basically points that we are going to feel more and more comfortable uh, when we work upon whatever that thing is here that it is taking another step that it is taking another level of improvement and the ace of pentacles also promised that this could improve in a very long run and it could reach a, a very great a, a, a much greater heights than it is right now as long as uh, you know we are uh, let's say adaptable and being able to basically work out with whatever is thrown in our way instead of uh, making excuses all the time and why that uh, if it could have been you know uh, other way around then we could have done this this and this you know but but it isn't it isn't another way around so basically this these cards are all pointing that we need to count our blessings and uh, make the most out of them because there is a lot in them so basically that was uh, the daily tarot reading for <clears throat> July 27, 2018. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it. And in case you're interested in a private reading with me, everything you need to know about it will be listed down there in the description of this video. Rod signing out now. See you next time. Bye.